hi guys welcome back to my channel so today we're going to talk about what i purchased during our um, local online sale last july 7 yeah of this year so um i purchased uh, these types of coloring materials because i've seen these materials uh, you know in, in youtube a lot of youtubers use this kind of um, coloring materials and I'm excited and I'm curious about the outcome um, also um, the color and also yeah the product so I will show you wait let me get it so this Excuse my candy because sometimes I'm hungry <laughs> and yeah, I love to eat chocolate so let's um, open one by one all right okay so this uh, this is a post-it why I purchased this is because I want to um, not write, but rather I put. I wanted to write in the post that um, each page that I'm going to color and who will be my you know, future um, color buddy and you know those stuff that you know reminds me what to do on that specific book. Because um, if you remember the scavenger hunt. I was like um, searching and flipping you know pages to find um, specific object so <laughs> that's why I purchased this I purchased two the same design um, yeah the same design so this is a post-it cheating and um, this these babies so i purchased this and this and this in one store okay so this and this and also this i purchased this in one store so this is a coloring pen i'm going to swatch this today um to show all of you guys um the um the the marker how it works it has um i don't know if you can see it has fine and broad tip okay. and i purchased 24 colors 24 pieces or 24 10, 10, 24 colors excuse me i don't know what happened to my tongue all right so um i purchased this and this so why i purchased this uh in the store it has 10 colors, 12 colors, 24 colors, and 30 colors. So yeah, they have 30 colors um, for this coloring um, pen. Um, why I purchased this is because number one, I'm curious about uh, the color and the quality. And I wanted to purchase the higher uh, the higher pieces. Uh, sad to say they don't have um, stock so i just purchased a 24 color um marker all right so this is um should i say the highlight of my video so why i purchased this it's because i've seen this in youtube youtubers use this one and the colors are fascinating fantastic but this is not the expensive one um, this is um, the affordable uh, brand, right? So I purchased only 30 pieces and then 24 pieces. So 30 pieces and 24 pieces except this but this. I purchased this. It's because I only purchased 30 pieces because number one, this is uh, for me quite a little expensive. And I want to um, see if the product um gives me you know satisfaction you know the color everything so at first 
um, I just purchased 30 pieces but we we never know we I might uh, purchase um, the higher ones in the store they have 30 pieces 60 pieces 80 pieces and hoping they are going to restock the 100 120 pieces okay so um let's open this okay let's open this so this is um all colors okay so here i don't know if you can see can you see me it says touch queasy i'm not sure if i pronounce this well so it has fine and broad okay and it has um, the code and the color so it's 23 orange so i only purchased 30 pieces and yeah as, as i've said before we might don't know i might purchase the higher pieces of this pen the next one is the nude colors okay the skin tone colors um they don't have higher higher pieces or higher yeah higher pieces for this uh, skin tone colors they only have 24 pieces um only this they have yeah as i mentioned uh, 60 80 120 but this um 24 colors so without further ado as I mentioned, I don't know if I mentioned it a while ago, but I'm going to swatch these babies in front of you, but don't worry. I know it will take time to see me swatching um, all of these in front of you during my video. So I'm going to speed up the video, all right? So in five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> So excuse for this, I missed. So wait, let me get this one to the board. Okay, good. <laughs> All right. Let me see. All right. So these are the qualities or the colors produced um, with this pen. All right. So verdict. Um, the 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 lead is very very hard to open. I don't know if you noticed during the swatching. See? It's so hard to open and close. And, you know, also it's hard to open and close. And I don't know if you can see, there's like lines here. And it's so hard. My f finger hurts when you open this. You see? It's so hard. Ding! All right. Okay, it's so hard to open but so far i like this you know i will use this one maybe later on i will use this one give you an example um on you know on the coloring page or in a coloring book okay so my next swatching is so this is finished i'm going to swatch Okay, so I'm going to swatch this and I'm going to speed the video. Okay. So yeah, this is normal when you purchase um, product to an online store. I mean, oops, you can you cannot check um, the the pen or anything that you purchase or the item if it's okay or if it's not bleeding. So give me a sec. I'll grab it. I'm grabbing pepper. I mean paper. Maybe I'm hungry. I don't know why. My tongue, my 
my tongue twisted and then I wanted to say pa uh, paper but I <laughs> mentioned pepper all right ah okay there you go sorry for that see oh my god let's see Oh, this 189. Ah, oh, still. I don't know why. But... There you have it. So I just made this up. I really don't have, you know, the swatch sheet. <laughs> so it's a bit messy. So here. This is the quality of that pen. So far, so good. It's just like the lead of these babies. It's so difficult to open. And look, this is not actually color, but look. See? My, <laughs> my hands hurt. So this is the quality of this baby. And then once again, I'm going to color, um, coloring paint or coloring book using this one. Um, let's see if it's, you know, the qualities are good in terms of you know, applying it to the coloring page. Okay. So next. So next we are going to swatch is the skin tone color so again i'm going to speed the video after this So this is the quality of um, the nude colors. I don't know if you can see. And then this is actually um, colorless blender. So it's this. Uh, it, it is included in this bag. So the lid is okay. It's not painful if you're going to open. And I I think the quality the quality is nice and the uh, tip of this is not hard it's it's yeah it's soft okay if you can see it is soft and i think this kind of um coloring or i think this is an alcohol alcohol pen alcohol yeah but i'm going to use this one um coloring pen right okay. so next that we're going to swatch is So once again, I'm going to uh, I'm going to speed speed up the video. Black ones. 
and where is that? And the other color. I like the color very much. It's because it's so vibrant. And yep, it leaves. Right, so here you go for this color. Um, I like it's because the same as the um, skin tone color. The, the tip of this is very smooth and then the color is um, so vibrant. I mean, I really like it. I like the color. And also, I was looking for the coloring codes. It has to be, for example, 50 for four screen. If you like to, if you're looking for like plain color, then at least you will know that you know this um, coloring code is like you know sort of like color green. So yes, they have a code back to back. They have broad and fine. What else? Um, I think that's it. All right. So the verdict. Okay, let me clear the table first. Okay. The verdict. So I've uh, cleared my table for um, for this. Um, what I like um, for this pen. This pen is, um, I believe, it is also good for, I don't know if you can see, good for um, those spaces with tiny, tiny, tiny spaces. You can use this, this kind of pen, because the tip is small. So, yes, I like also these. Um, and also, this so I also like this and then also um, this and this let me open it to you okay there all right so as I mentioned a while ago why I purchased this it's because you know I'm curious of the outcome of each pen and so yes, let me know what pen or alcohol type pen you are using. Let me know in my comment box and I am, you know, I'll be happy to answer or to answer your questions regarding and, you know, and let's share what kind of pens you are using, right? So this I use touch, it's only touch, no other word. So I only, I only use this. And this all right the verdict is it worth it to buy this if you are a beginner go for this and if you are looking for a pen who has this very tiny tiny tip then this type of pen okay this type of pen and I think uh, this uh, tip is the same with this tip okay how about this is it worth it to buy or not to buy um, for me it's worth it it's because you know, it shows what I need and what I want and what I see the the color the the, the quality nips the quality of um, the pen that I'm looking for not to buy it's I mean it's up to you if you are like me um, who is you know very curious of other other coloring materials then go for it if, if you're not um, a lot of colorists likes to use only pen they don't know how to uh, they don't know how to should I say shade or use then let's just leave it I uh, me myself I like to experiment um, different kinds of coloring materials and then some colorists, they like also to use these kind of pens. I've seen a lot in YouTube and, you know, color coloring pencil as well. I've seen a lot in, um, in YouTube as well. YouTuber uses coloring pencil, coloring pen, um, pastel, um, what else? Um, yes, I think so. I, anyways, so is it um, 
why I why I purchase um, 30 pieces only for this not the higher one it's because at first when I search by the way I'm so happy that I um, able to uh, search this in our local online store that we have this kind of pen and I'm so super happy it's just like at first I was so hesitant to buy because it's very expensive number one it's very expensive and I don't know how you know things is going on with the quality of this kind of pen so as for me I want to try first the the smaller version the 30 pieces then I might jump into the higher ones like the 80 or the 120 so just for experiment you know purposes and the experience as well that's why i only bought 30 pieces except this because i don't know maybe there is but in the store they only have the higher is 24 okay and then also this they only have 24 the higher ones are um out of stock this one is the same only this kind of, this this group no other higher um, pieces all right so what are the coloring books that you're going to use with this kind of pens and what are um, the should I say the uh, the band paper you're going to use do not use a coloring book which is like the the, the normal coloring book like um, just normal coloring book when you use this kind of pens use the one-sided coloring book or the black sided one i've seen that one in amazon i've seen that coloring book in um in uh, youtube okay so i have um coloring book if you notice in my channel or in my youtube i have lots of coloring book with um the normal ones and then i've engaged um, a PDF coloring book if you love to download PDF um, coloring coloring pages then this type of coloring pen that you, you will use or you can use okay but be sure the bun paper that you're going to use is thick okay to prevent you know um, smudge or bleed under you can use ah, last weekend I went to our um, local bookstore and I found this I found this Fabriano mixed media made in Italy okay so it says here ideal for drawing pastel acrylic and watercolor so a size 9 by 12 with 160 GSM and 10 sheets this is quite expensive if I'm not mistaken um, two dollars for ten sheets for me it's expensive <laughs> all right so um, yeah let me know what type of one paper that you're uh, that you're going to use or that you're currently using uh, if you are into um, a PDF coloring pages you know colorist so what else any question and oh if you have if you have questions if you want to share something let me know I um, I'm very very active in you know replying your comments in like in my um, video so let me know let's share what kind of coloring materials do you have like this kind of materials um, coloring coloring what happened to my tongue coloring materials and yes what pen are you using okay let me know ah by the way i have question you know if you can answer my question <laughs> i'm so happy you notice that this pen has fine and broad okay during this watching i like to use the fine how about you guys do you like to use the fine tip or do you like to use the broad tip for me i like to use the fine tip i can control my shading or yeah my stroke but but the but the broad it's kind of like a little difficult to use so let me know how i mean let me know how are we going to or what is the use of um the broad or you maybe you can give me the name of 
you know a youtuber that has a tutorial on how to use this kind of I mean this tip okay because I am a you know first timer to to review to swatch you know this kind of pens and I'm not professional swatcher <laughs> this is my just kidding this is my first time okay so and by the way oh yeah 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 yes earlier during this um during the d earlier during the um the swatching actually i already cut a video um i tried to color this because i like this um i already colored some pages that i wanted to try and i wanted also to try the um call a bun paper that i bought so earlier during the swatching oh no not during but middle of the swatching after i finished um, if you notice that i ran out of bun paper that's the time i cut the video and i i did not record i just like wanted to uh should i say experiment no so here are some pages that i tried um the coloring page is from the 10 p.m. creations because I find their pages um, I believe it's okay to use these pens because they're uh, should I say the spaces is um, huge or big so it fits it really fits to the these pens right roll call please okay so this so I use this with um, this this babies earlier okay I use this do you like it I like it and then this so notice there is like a small object or spaces. I use this. Okay. I like the color and then yeah, the vibe the 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 consistency. Con is it right? Is it correct? Of um this pen. Next is this. I colored this um, before I've featured this before in my first blog about 10 p.m. creation I used um, Prismacolor and then I tried to use um, this kind of pen so it turns out nice okay and this same like this and also i have a tip if you are using this kind of pen avoid opening the lid in front of the page that you're working for or you're working on it's because you're going to end up like me i don't know if you noticed but when i open one of the green oh my god but that's okay the dots is very small but yeah i use um all of it from this okay so today i'm going to try the remaining pages i print um i'm going to choose either this or this or this i'm going to choose um what coloring material or pen that I'm going to use and this okay so I'm going to speed the video after this I'm not sure if I'm doing this right but this pen Kind of color pen is not good for the paper that I bought. Um, it's because when I um, when I use it, 
notice there is like some small particles went out so yeah i'm not going to use this one for this how about um that's um maybe i will use the bunch paper i don't know Ooh, dangerous And let's find another color with this. Okay. Let's try. I think the same. It is the same. It has small particles that, you know, after you rub, it has a small particle that went out. This is the burnt paper. It, not, it is not good because the tip is hard. Mm. <laughs> to the rescue. That's why. Now I know why these babies are very expensive. So this is not good for the paper that I bought. Um, uh, how about the bun paper? Ordinary bun paper. I think they're okay because, yeah, I think they're okay. When I swatched using an ordinary bun paper, they're okay. It's just like they're not good for let me see let's rub this babies to this is the one that I used during the um, swatching let's rub this babies the same the same yeah it went out there is like small particle that when you rub the same OMG. <laughs> hey. At least you know, you know if you're planning to buy this kind of pen. Um yeah, at least you know that you know they're not good for ordinary ordinary bun paper and you know the special ones or yeah, the one that I or the thick ones. Thick bun paper. So you see? <laughs> see? I don't know if you notice. Yeah disaster <laughs> omg so maybe i will find another one to use this of course i'm going to use this but i don't know maybe i'm going to use this one of i have upcoming um bun paper i uh, no, not upcoming bun paper but upcoming um coloring book so yeah i will find a solution how to use this one because hey i bought this one um, this is one dollar and this is three or four dollars yep. so let's go back and color this poor little thing <laughs> that's fine tender pink <laughs>
turns out that I use this instead of um, instead of this and also the one that I purchased um, excuse me this um, I use once this um, here you can actually use this with I mentioned a while ago that you know if the space is small you can use this using that do not shade okay because um, a while ago it turns out that it will ruin the paper okay but good thing I covered up using this so yes, I think. Ah, oh yes. Do you, if you have questions regarding, um, you know, materials that I use today, comment down below. And yes, as always, I am um, happy and I'm excited. If you're going to ask something, you know, about this. Now I know why um, a lot of colorists. And youtubers use this kind of pen especially um, those brand which is you know the expensive one I bet um, also the quality and um, the color is perfect okay so I hope you like it I hope you like it um, I hope you enjoy um, my vlog today and as much as i am happy today and yeah i think that's it so i hope if you like this consider if you like me um if you like me to do a body color review just dm me i am also in instagram and also um excuse me because my family is having dinner and then they're all um happy you know talking something or cer certain topic but they're having dinner right now it's dinner time and they're they're having a conversation on a topic that's very interesting so so yeah their uh, their voices that uh, their voices are in my background so excuse me for that so the, i think yeah that's it um thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe like comment please 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 if you have questions regarding this if you have suggestions you know tell me and you know tell me about like you know the, the bug paper that you're using um yes please I'm, I'm i'm so so happy and i'm excited to see your comment and if you have a suggestions regarding um you know a certain youtuber or a certain um channel that i can watch how they use the broad tip let me know all right so thank you so much for watching this is me hannah and see you in my next video bye